Hello, everybody. Prince of Bear here, and we're back at the Polynesian because you asked. You've asked. And then you asked again. So many times. And again and again. You want Ohana dinner. Ohana. So here we are. Make way. Make way. Make way. Make way. We're going to go eat some food. Ohana, it's time you do. We want the food review of all the foods. So we're going to head up and munch our lives away. Be sure to be shiny. You heard the girl. <laughs> I got a back scratcher, but it doesn't have back scratcher in it, which is fine. It's nice and tangy and delicious. I would give it four to five back scratchers. Kwabai. This is really a drink designed to scratch that itch, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm missing something. Getting like, I can't thaw it. I, I need a, I need, I need a scratch it. Definitely gets that itch. Three and a half out of five claws. For breakfast, Bear got a Lapu Lapu without the pineapple. For dinner, Bear's got a Lapu Lapu with a pineapple. The pineapple's four dollars extra. You can open in here and you can see all the beautiful like drinkage. Oh, that's strong. I would give it a four out of five pineapples. This is how you drank. I warned you guys I was coming for my pineapple. As big as my head. Definitely getting it. Ooh. Kicks like magic moon fireworks. Four and a half out of five plus. It's the 151. So we have these beautiful biscuits. This side is vegan. This side is not vegan. This butter is not vegan. So let me take one of these beautiful little muffiny muffs. Look at that goodness right there. That good, good. It's very doughy. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes like a super dense biscuit. Oh, you definitely need some liquid with that. Tea, juice, adult beverage, something. Ooh. Three out of five biscuits. It's good, like it's really delicious, but it's just super dense. Respect the biscuit boat. I'm kind of curious, is it was like a coconut plant-based muffin? You can see the pieces of dried coconut on the outside. It's nice and flaky. Pulls apart anyway. Like. The coconut is interesting. I'd like to try that one day on like a non-plant-based biscuit. But this has that same issue with like the super dense cakey feeling, but more dry. I think it was a little bit more moist. This would actually be like my favorite biscuit I've had. Three out of five plus. This little thing is a bacon cheddar biscuit, I believe. It smells normal, it smells like poppy seed muffin actually. Get a little dab of this whipped butter, not too much because I don't want to die. Mmm. It's hard muffins, but I can, I can barely taste the bacon. There's like a hint of bacon aftertaste. And honestly, I think I like the plant based some more. Two and a half out of five plus. Next is ensalada time with some sauce. So let me just grab like a good little variation of ensalada over here on my plate. And pour a little bit of the sauce. That was difficult. The dressing is decent. The salad is delicious. I would eat this proactively. 
four to five tossed salads, this would definitely toss my salad. All that stabby stabby you just saw? I learned you never stand between a vegan and a vegetables. Not me though, you can have all of mine. That feels like a unique salad. Unlike Tusker or some other places you're into. I get a tropical feel from that. It's crunchy. That's something I'm gonna say run here for, but it's good. Three out of five plus. Some of my favorite things ever are in this dish right now. We got the nudes, we got a Beyond sausage, we got broccolini, we got chicken, and my favorite barbecue jackfruit. Now, if you want the nudes recipe, we got that on our channel. Just check the description box for a link. I'm gonna start with the nudes. Silencio Bruno, the nudes are amazing. A grazie. Four out of five peanuts. If you have a peanut allergy, don't get the news. And it's one thing Ohana needs to work on before you address this, is a disproportionate amount of food for plant-based people. They have some of the most unique items and property, but at the same time, the princess gets this. I get all this. A little bit unfair. Luckily, it's all you care to enjoy, so once you find something you like, you can just keep ordering that until you pop. So, first off, let's try these infamous nudes. Disney community, social media, you use what little power you have for the worst thing possible to get these nudes back. There are so many other things you can use that power for, but this, this is the hill you want to die on, so it better be good. The nudes are just to remember, actually the ones we made at home were a little bit better, the flavor is a bit stronger. You get like that, uh, Pineapple, ginger, soy taste. Okay, I can easily eat a whole plate of these. They're good. Not as good as this Twitter made it sound, but they're still fairly decent. Three and a half out of five plus. Nextly, we we'll do the Beyond Sausage. It's like crisp to a char. It's super crunchy. It's hard to cut. This is like Beyond Overcooked. Super overcooked. Yes. Let's go to five Beyond Sausages. The long journey of Disney and Beyond Sausages. The issue is they tried to cook this like a sausage. They did not cook the same. This thing almost feels like tree bark. This thing almost feels like hyenas got at it. Is uh, not pleasant. One and a half and a five clones. They killed our boy. I did him wrong. Next we'll do broccolini. Thank you. Cheers. Seasoned exquisitely, but a little salty. I'm not mad at that though. Three and a half out of five broccolis. Tasty broccolini. Do love a tree vegetable. Mm. It's a shame you can cook the, the sauce is so bad. The broccoli, the broccolini is like perfect. Nice, salted, cook all the way through, a little crunch to it. Three and a half out of five paws. Now we have the chicken. on. I'm gonna do a little bit of this chicken on here. It's a little too artificial for me. 
Sauce isn't super great. I would give it two out of five chickens. Next up, we have this uh, chicken. It looks like chicken. Seasoned like chicken. It's a bit pale looking, so this actual chicken is worrying me a little bit, but uh, how bad could it be? Oh god. I thought the Beyond, the Beyond sausage is the worst thing, being how burnt it was. No, no, no. The chicken was like hold my beer. It's definitely worse. One out of five claws. Just ignore that, trust me. Try for yourself if you want to. I'm warning you, it is not good. Definite one out of five claws. But I saved the best for last. My favorite jackfruit that I haven't had in like some years, which you'll see past videos in the description box as well. That beautiful barbecue sauce, I remember. Mm. Oh, yeah. You come here for the jackfruit. The jackfruit is incredible. I don't want to share this dish with Bear. Overall, I would say this dish alone is worth it. Outside of like everything else that you get, this dish is worth it. Then. We have the very jackfruit that started the princess's jackfruit addiction. She now cannot live without jackfruit in the house at all times. And we had to find anybody that does this as well as Ohana did. Let's hope they keep their status. Mm. Tasty island barbecue flavor. Ooh, it's just like you would expect like a full pork to eat. They're still top here jackfruit. Four and a half out of five claws. That is definitely what you come here for. So instead of the peel and shrimp of the past, we have this cheesy shrimp casserole, which looks to me like yellow death. And probably the thing that most people have been questioning is this place reopened. Because shrimp and a whole load of cheese. Why? That's the answer. But that's like a over here. You guys want to see it? I brought magic pills. If I die, I blame you. Fair enough. All right? Yikes. I think broccoli and cheddar soup with shrimp. That's sort of the flavor you're getting there. I don't hate it. I don't think it's going to love with it either. But at least the shrimp's good. Right? Mm. It's super cheesy, some breadcrumbs on top. You get a three out of five plus. There's one thing non vegan Ohana family style dining has is that. You are at no shortage of options. You get the same exact news the princess hit. They are vegan by design. And then you have all this extra stuff that she doesn't get. Now first, let's start with the sausage. Nice juicy looking link. I wish I had the char the princess had without having it burnt to a crisp. With a nice deep saucy flavor, cook well, skin's good, nice and juicy on the inside. Not a ton of grease, so I can deal with that. Look at that, two and a half out of five plus. I've already tried the broccolini, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this chicken in here. Hidden, one piece, one tiny piece of chicken. What are y'all trying to do to me? All right, so season, it looks to be seasoned exactly the same as right, the princess's chicken was seasoned, just obviously with my base. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. 
I definitely showed you what they were going for. It's like a chimichurri chicken. And it comes with the letter a lot better on the non real chicken. That is pretty tasty. I give that four out of five plus. Well, next up we have this infamous pork dumplings in this cute little bowl. Before they used to come around and just shove everything off a stick, now you get individual portions of everything. Will that improves? We have yet to see. I should have dumplings. I wish I had a sauce or something to dump these in. They're just dry dumplings, no sauce. Disappointing. Mm. Now that is a nice pork dumpling slash pot sticker. This is amazingly crisp on the outside. Nice juicy pork on the inside. All the flavor and seasoning in there. Mmm. Oh, super delicious. That was a surprise. I was expecting to hate these. I don't believe I loved them last time, but this time, definitely four out of five blocks for me. Now we have our second course of chicken. They hid the chimichurri chicken in the skillet, and then they gave you this just sesame sticky chicken wings. Makes me want to do a chicken, a wings challenge like we did last time, like trying to find the best wings in the property. But this is an absolute mess. Wish I had some wet naps. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is how you make a chicken wing. Mmm. One thing I definitely say is how cohesive the flavors are. Like this is feminine style dining. This is feminine style dining before the press panini, but it's maintained its unique flavors all over there. You feel like you're at an island Brazilian barbecue. Mm. Right there, it's five out of five plus. Definitely do not skip the wings. Here we have what's become of the steak. Previously, we had on a sword and give this to you. Now you get your own personal skillet, complete with a little teriyaki goodness in there. I think it's actually looks a little bit better because you get like all the sauce. They still come around and ask you how you want it. I got it the usual medium rare. Nice huge chunks of steak. Some tender benefits while we're sticking in the sauce. Well, if you're gonna order steak, this is probably the way I did it. I would also give this five out of five plus. This and the wings, I would definitely come back for with no hesitation. Both the wings and the steak, two of my bigger necessities. Plus. We have chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm happy about this. It's not bad. The brownie is rich. The chocolate balances. It's a pretty decent dessert. This is not what I expected from Ohana. And I'm not mad at it. I would give it, um... Four to five chocolates. I would proactively come here for this dessert. This is good dessert. Holy plant-based desserts, that bad man. With some chocolate plant-based ice cream on top of a chocolate brownie, chocolate sauce. Thank you. Thank you, sir. If you like chocolate, this is probably gonna be dessert for you. Mmm. Rich chocolate brownie brown stuff by the ice cream, even though it's more chocolate. I would say that I like this better than the coconut bread. I give this three and a half out of five plus. Hold this one. If you don't like uh, vanilla ice cream and caramel? Because that's a plant based dessert. They don't mind giving it to you. So here we have the non vegan dessert. 
the coconut bread, the ice cream, and a delicious caramel drizzle. Go ahead and get some layers here. A little ice cream. I promise you guys more desserts, and here we are. Mm. Super strong and fresh coconut. Vanilla ice cream sort of bounces out. The caramel is just decadent. Enough if you want to dive and swim in this dessert. Three out of five pause. So, we finally, finally gave you guys your Ohana dinner. We're ready to pop. I wish we had wheels so we can roll ourselves out of here. I'm so full, I'm ready to puke. You definitely get your money's worth. Oh, the food was without so even, good. Without even trying. I just want the nudes and the jackfruit. I just need more of that chicken. Uh, and even though I don't really like steak, I could have done another serving the steak, but I, I have no room left. I hurt. So full. Internally. The Beyond Sausage was crisp to a bloody pulp, but yeah. really the, the main star is the jackfruit and the yeah. nudes. I was finding all the plant-based stuff except for that chicken and the burnt Beyond Sausage. Just gotta go. But I am ready to burst. I hope you guys are happy. You got your Ohana. Finally, quit knocking on my door. That's no, fine. Knock all you want, and we'll do more stuff. We, we love it when you guys comment and ask us to do videos, so please don't stop doing that. And you guys know that if you ask, we will do it. If there's any place else you would like us to go, by all means, the comments. So many places to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. I'm on my second plate. Second plate.